we got Trues Views here back for a little Anna Monday, reacting to anime on Monday with a little Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood dub style, episode 13, The Beast of Dubleth. What's going on, Eric? Are we ready to unleash these beasts? I'm excited. I'm here. I don't have anything for this Beast of Dubleth. I don't have a funny malaprocism the mode i don't know yeah. just something well instead of that then why don't you give us one lesson from your online uh, phoenix online auto mail course that you, you said uh, at the end of last one you just got back from a little camping trip i guess for to learn about things i don't know if it was learning about that the earth is all one circle of life or i guess it's maybe more auto mail focused uh, actually um so interestingly in the auto mail course I actually learned the opposite, that I am the center of the universe, oh. um, and that all all things come through me, and that's been exciting, uh, That's that's been an interesting realization as uh, I continue to mm. live my life as selfishly as possible, so. So just one is all, not the second part, <laughs> or I am all. <laughs> right, right. All, all is me. All right. I mean, when you're taking classes online, I get or doing stuff online these days, it's, it's just all about you, I guess. You, you're in your own world, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Even mm -hmm. when you go on that island camping trip. Well, you didn't go with your brother, I don't think, so he's not in the class with you. So, you know, you don't have the same as Ed and Al. Maybe it would have turned out differently if my brother had needed my help uh, for anything when we were younger, yes. but no. No, I guess that wasn't the case. Did you never eat ants together or anything like that even? Nope. I'm eating ants alone. Ants are me. Island is me. Fire is me. You know. Well, hey, it's a certain lifestyle. I can't hate on it. But, listen, we met the old teacher, Zumi, last time. Well, I shouldn't call her old. She doesn't like that. Uh, even though it is funny when kids call, like, a, probably, like, a 35-year-old, like, how old I am, like, an old man or old lady or whatever. So it is funny, but what what did you think of the uh, teacher last time that we met? On a shallow level, they got me. They keep calling her the old lady when they're referring to her, like, obliquely when they're on their way. And then she's just this, like, hot lady. <laughs> All right. She's, she's you got me. housewife. Yeah. She wears those uh, shower shoes. She has dreads, maybe, which she, I guess you were you weren't a fan of that part last time. It's, it's borderline at best. <laughs> okay. And what about our big man husband, the meat, the meat man himself, Sig? You know, you... Kind of a Viking name. You know I love Sig. Yeah. I need Sig at this point in my life, so... All right. Well, we'll see if they're still going to be in this one. I mean, it's called Beast of Dublin. That's the town that they're in, living in, where the boys came to you last time. So I would think they might be in it. But if not, we'll have to see what we get. Any predictions before we press play on this one for the episode? They're being hunted by uh, Less Than Envy. Okay. And so some shit's going to go down out so, here. So that Less Than Envy are... No, wait, killed. they want to keep... Never mind. They want to keep them alive. True. That's Unless plans have changed. Damn it. Yeah, they didn't kill him the last time. He's a... An important sacrifice, unless this is the time they want to do that sacrifice. It would seem pretty early in the show. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Well, do you think they'll be in it, the episode, Lust, Envy, or uh, Glutton? I'm going to say no at this point. That's what I've seen. Okay. Well, let's find out what does happen with these beasts. We'll get on into it right now. Let's do it. Okay, so we're talking about this. I oh, doubt you there. know how impressive that is. What decision? You're expelled. <laughs> Spelling them from school. The trains are still running. Get on one. Thank you for everything. If you're ever in town. I'm not so sure about that. You idiots! <laughs> but you can't see what your expulsion means. You aren't her students anymore, so now you're finally free to speak to Izumi as equals. Damn! Al, we haven't done what we came here to do in the first place. <gasps> oh, why didn't you just say that? Don't let her kill you. <laughs> because... Teacher? <laughs> what the hell are you doing coming back here? I do not teach scum like you. Get out of my home. We came to you because we're trying to find a way to get our bodies back. 
You idiots. Al, you didn't see the truth, did you? No. I don't really even know what that means. We need to get Al's memory back. His entire body was taken from him. Oh, yeah. We only exchanged parts of our bodies for what we saw. But Al paid the toll with his entire physical being. Wait, I was under the impression that Al's body... If I remember what I saw, then we'll know how to get our bodies back? ...was a price for Ed's knowledge. We are learning something different now. Hey, what, is it something bad? Um... Drive you insane. Yeah, I guess you that's not... I thought that was too, but no, maybe I messed up. If there's a chance that it can help us, then I want to do it. Maybe I'm that's just what Ed thought initially. Retrieve your memory for you. Let's eat dinner first. Give me a hand. Okay. okay. Able to transmute human souls. Man, what the fuck? It's a creepy guy with the tail climbing up a wall. Just introduce uh, right. that. So okay, we're back here. Big transfer, huh? Back at the military. There he is. Yes, sir. Make it be fire Monday. Back on. So happy we're here. <laughs> I'm boring compared to some of the stories I've heard about you. Well, all of your hard work has made my life easier. And I feel like I've grown as an officer, thanks to the variety of work you've allowed me to take on. Checkmate. Ah, you can consider that my going away gift. You see, the chest is a metaphor for his scheming. Gift-giving mood, there's something else I'd like. Master Sergeant Kane Fury, and Officer Vato Fallman, Second Lieutenant Hyman's Breda, Second Lieutenant Gene Havoc, First Lieutenant Reza Who loves you? The squad. Of you are transferring to Central with me. Is this a flashback? <laughs> nope. See, I just started dating this They weren't in really Central? Like... Dump her. They're in East City. Hughes was in Central, right? I remember uh, he was calling. When he died, he was trying to call. Uh, okay. Mustang. Come on, not again. Your wounds are never going to heal if you don't give it. All right, we're seeing everybody. I'm glad that you're well. I was informed that you've been targeting state alchemists. I know the animosity you feel. A state alchemist is responsible for the burning of our village. Your vengeance will only sow the seeds of further violence, and it's feeding a fruitless cycle of death. Anybody home? Would you look at that? He really is here. It's like you got yourself a deal. We'll split the bounty three ways with you. Oh, shit. Guess he didn't want the reward. <laughs> Yoki, how could you do something like this? To go. Just shut up. I never even is that the guy we saw in the poster two episodes ago? Okay. All right. To annihilate Edward Elric! A capture him, please, so we can fetch our money. You bring more trouble if I stay here. Well, thanks for making this easy, pal. <laughs> <laughs> you do to him! Odd. You should be the one praying, freak! Please, I'm sorry, please don't kill me, please! I'm begging you, I'll do anything. <laughs> so you're leaving then? Your brother would be sad. New shades. Too late to turn back now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's this creep. He's here. There you are. About time. I'm guessing you're the people that wrote this note. That's right. There's a lot about me that I don't know. Then I'm the guy you want to talk to. My teacher always said I'm not supposed to go with strangers. Uh, how old are you? Fourteen. Mm -hmm. You got an official age on right Al. You gotta act like an adult. Start taking so Ed's probably rest. fifteen or sixteen. I should think for myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it over for myself, and I decided that I should just make you tell me what I want to know. <laughs> trying to do is slow you down a little. Oh, I'm wonderful. You people aren't human, are you? And they happen to work for me. I'm Mara. That's a new term? Full metal alchemist. Uh, Chimera's... Well, you no, that's not. Follow. 
They talked about him earlier. In oh, the, the the show. Yeah. I want to be your friend. The child what you people really dog are. thing. Huh? Right. Okay. You're See, not they just put it on screen. It's impossible. No one's made a chimera that can talk. Also, a chimera attacked them, even in an episode before you that. You like a lion kind of get one. Mm-hmm. This big guy here. Ro, what were you made with? Cow? Crocodile? And the little runt you took down earlier tends to lift his leg. You're part dog? Yep. It's really not so bad. What? The military. Are you saying... You got it. Hell, I'm more uncommon than they are. I'm a homunculus. A homunculus? Uh -huh. What a weird term that I'm learning for the first time. <sighs> really? <laughs> no joke. You might have got spoiled that less than them were called homunculus yeah. or homunculi. Yeah. That's all right. I guess you can cut that if you want. <laughs> also, did we talk over? Did he introduce, say what his name is when we talked over? Maybe. You know me always running my head. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> Why'd you do that to him? I think that's why Lust took was able to take that uh, knife from Hughes to the to the dome and was fine after yep, yep. a minute or two. It's one time I've died. No way. I'm a little surprised you would have such a hard time accepting that, considering you're just a soul. In Fair a point. Who told you that? Plenty of friends. <laughs> well, let's skip this casual chit chat. What it's like to have a body that'll never die. And bound to an object? It sounds like that's the perfect recipe for immortality to me. See, I'm greed. Oh, yeah. I want everything you can think of. Demand the finer things. And of course, I crave Same greed. Life. I can have it all. Well, I guess I was put together a little stir, but I wouldn't exactly say that I'm immortal. I told you my darkest secret. Now it's your turn. How'd Does that make Lust and uh, Envy like 200 years old? Unless you'd rather be examined, which means he'll have to take you Theoretically. apart. Theoretically. Lust is a baddie for 200 that years old. I actually remember how I got it. <laughs> True. It's highly buried <laughs> status. That's not a problem. In that case, I'll just ask the person who did. Now, I guess you can't answer this, but is he working independently? Is he working independently of Lust and Envy? The military and, or whatever? Well, yeah, uh, it, it seems like they turned. They have fully turned on the military, right? I, I mean, is he working independently of Lust and Envy? Yeah. Well, we'll see. Let's watch the rest of the episode and we'll talk gotcha. about it after. This seems like a trick. I was hoping that I'd only have to deal with a little armor. <laughs> Aren't you observant? I just showed it right to you like Just that. ask your partners whatever you want to know. Okay. Your partners? Yeah. They had a couple of armor-bonded souls with them as well. Well, it's kind of a long story, but we don't talk much anymore. You guys are pretty desperate to get your bodies back, right? My ask is you teach me how to transmute a soul. I seek equivalent exchange. Class. But I really don't understand why you would want your other body back. No, I don't! You're choking, right? Is this really if I only had a hard hours? You don't even need to use the toilet. Sounds great to me. Does he want to transmute his own soul? That's enough. Shut your damn... Perfect! You don't know anything about the hell he's had to go through stuck with that body! You kidnapped my brother and you want to trade secrets with me? Oh yeah, she's still in there. You creeps! I'll smash you! In other words, there won't be an exchange with you! <laughs> I guess we're doing this by force again. Don't kill him, alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm slower than a prisoner, I know! <laughs> Next. Roa, get the armored kid out of here. Right. <laughs> hey, you <hold> alive! Drop him! <laughs> sword of yours is kind of neat, but it can't even scratch my ultimate shield. Mm. Guard your head next time. <laughs> that move would have hospitalized most people. He's well, not like other girls. Not a person at all. 
Nothing special, but you're never gonna beat me, so I suggest making a deal. You're one of those guys. You don't care if somebody beats the crap out of you, but if someone lays a finger on a family member, you completely freak out. You lose your temper like this, and you're gonna lose my information and your brother. And your ultimate shield doesn't cover much. <laughs> but I've been holding back. This obscures my handsome face, so I try not to wear it that much. I wasn't kidding, kid. You're not gonna beat me. Then you're saying they're both missing? They can't even sweep the street without getting into trouble, they're lucky, I ex I think I can help. Here, catch. A devil's nest. Oh, too young for the bar. They're way too young. This is not an all ages show. You dead yet? There you go. You're chock full of piss and vinegar. <laughs> the effort, but you just can't win. Good thing Winner is working to upgrade her auto mask. So, are you ready to tell me your secret now? <gasps> Thanks for toying with me. What? I'm to cool off and start thinking clearly. And after all this, it's still working. <laughs> <laughs> How long you want to drag this out, kid? It'd be so much easier if you just stay down! Well, that was bizarre. Is he using Scar's power? Is that what this is? I believe so. What the hell did you do? You may be a homunculus, but you really shouldn't have told me that your body is human, considering that means a third of it is made of oh, okay. carbon varies depending on how the atoms are arranged. I got that figured out, the rest is simple alchemy. I'm glad to hear it! It's no fun if it's not a cellar! One other important thing I noticed! <laughs> but how much longer can you keep this up in your condition? Let's go. Teacher? You damn imbecile! <laughs> I asked you a question! No! I'm so sorry! Definitely needed the exercise. Teacher, careful! He's a- Yes, I know. Oh, give me a break. Don't tell me you're gonna try and start anything. <laughs> <laughs> well now, just what the hell are you? You asked what I am. Let's go, the houseway. Drew's Fuse. So, we got some more reaffirmation of the housewife skills. She's so cool. We got a lot of new information. Yeah, she is. Luckily, the uh, husband Sig is there too, to, you know, fill in mm -hmm. some of the gaps, you know, tell the boys what's real, you know, figure it out. Even there. <laughs> She's kind of like, he was kind of saying, like, implying that they graduated <laughs> yeah. versus got expelled, but I guess. So. Either way, um, yeah, well, let's talk about the Al thing real quick. So I, I guess I was wrong thinking about it. Like, again, I've said this a few times, but I just don't remember. There's a lot of things I don't okay. remember about this Same. series. I was thinking, I think at least I thought initially, or maybe I just thought this during that flashback, he lost Al, and then that's why I had to go get him back and do the you know, this whole thing. But he did lose his leg first, either arm or leg, one of the two first. And I guess at that time, that's when Al lost his whole body. And Ed, getting Al back, lost the other limb. What? And saw the truth. So they're saying Al must have seen it too, but it, it was so intense or whatever, and lost his whole body that he can't even remember it. That's why he can't do that. Did I blank out my entire memory of the episode where we learn all of that? Like. I thought they were trying to get their mother back. They were. So we saw, even though we just saw this last time, the teacher tried to get her stillborn baby to live. It came back as a black, you know, monster and with red eyes, whatever. And then she lost like some of her internal organs. Then later down the line, Ed and Al tried to get their mother back. Same thing, comes back as a monster. Ed loses... I think his arm and the, but then Al lost his whole body so once Ed realizes what happened that Al's like disappeared he like grabbed some blood and did the thing the mark to try to keep him alive doing that caused him to lose the other okay. limb okay when he saw the and guy. so in this episode go ahead so 
theoretically Al had an experience with this guy too, but like they're saying, he couldn't even remember. He can't even remember it. What? Oh, because he died like in was So he doesn't have the knowledge that they have. That's why he can't remember anything right. because he has actually died and seen. I don't know if he technically died, like his body was gone, but they got to, sure. This, they kept his soul around still. So I guess he okay. Would, I guess he didn't technically. Seems like greed. This homunculus that we met today in this episode, he's trying to get like an actual soul. That's what I thought he was doing. So, so yeah, we learned about these homunculuses. That's the fourth one we've met. Now we obviously had already met Lust and V and gluttony they all seem to have somewhat different powers right greed has this crazy shell armor stuff but yeah you were wondering throughout like it's just it seems like they're not no. it's not aligned with the other ones that we've met and he basically confirmed that this time i think the idea is that he he is so greedy that he doesn't want he wants it all for himself mm -hmm, he doesn't mm -hmm. want to work with them so i guess it might be a, might be a flaw in whoever created them and now we know that they are created um, I guess you already knew that because like you had gotten kind of spoiled. Yeah, yeah. Aspect. But you didn't know anything about this character or anything. No, I just met him for the first time. Okay. So there are other... So there are going to be seven of them. That's what it would seem. You already kind of thought there would be because like, of the other three and what their names are. So. so who are we looking out for? So that was four of seven. We still need Wrath, Sloth, and... Um... What is the other one? <laughs> We, I don't know we went into this uh -huh. a while back when we were talking about it episodes ago, but now um, we even did a, tra a snake draft of we did draft our, the sins picking our things. Sins, what did we get? Just tell me what the seven deadly sins are. I'm on a web page that's like it did the whole problem of evil. I don't, I, I don't need that explained. Oh, do we say pride? That's it. That's the one pride. That's the guy. Okay, now I'm remembering like who these characters are. Aren't you haven't met them yet. We need pride, wrath, sloth. What do you think sloth's gonna be like? So gluttony is already kind of a Snorlax type. He likes eating people. Seems to have an insatiable mm -hmm, appetite. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What do I think sloth is gonna be like? Shit. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see when we get to them. So Wrath has his own gang here. I mean, uh, sorry, Greed has his own gang here of homunculi, basically. That he built. Yeah, seemingly. So the, one of them was like, the, the girl was like a snake. Also, it's cool how she got, I mean, it's creepy also, but cool how she got into how sexual Yeah, I thought that was armor. really cool. It's trying to control him. Uh, there's a cow guy. There is a dog guy. Some other ones. I mean, the, the creepiest one is the one who's like spying and running up the walls and stuff. Uh, there was also a crocodile that we didn't see much of at all. Oh yeah, what about this crew? No, I was saying homunculi, that's greed, but they are... Uh... Chimera. Yeah. Oh, is, yeah. Which we had seen some of. Shao Tucker, the, the uh, dad there who went, uh, who went off the deep end with his, his family. You turned them to chimeras. Basically, what he was trying to do or, or did finally succeed at somewhat had already been... By the bad guys, yeah, of course. Like, way more successfully. So, he said they were made by the military. It's, yeah, that's what he said. Or, like, I, that's the location. Okay, so and so... Who has the ability right, to do that's the conspiracy that Mustang is trying to uncover. Seems like it should okay. be related, yeah. We, had, we saw him uh, playing chess, doing a... Do the kind of spy, you know, techniques with his, I guess, I, mean, I believe that's his superior officer. Well, it was. He just got a promotion. Yeah. And he got transferred with his, so he's got his squad up. Uh, Hawkeye and the rest of the boys there. So we saw a couple squad formations this episode. I love to get that. the gang together. Will the two, will the two beat up? We'll have to find out. I'm going to say yes. So the next episode is called those who lurk underground is that something i mean it seems like the guys we met today kind of are lurking underground maybe not quite i don't know i guess that wasn't technically underground where there was it like in some random bar or whatever but it seems like the chimeras would be lurking underground or is it something else i don't know we're definitely gonna finish this fight between izumi and greed right uh who do you think is gonna win the fight 
I mean, I just think Izumi is incredible. I, I even don't care about her bad hair any anymore. I just think, I just think the world of her. Oh, you're over that. So right. yeah, I think she's got she's got Greed's number. All right. Now, and also another important thing to notice: it's he's hard to kill, or it's seemingly the homunculi in general are hard to kill, but not impossible. There's that is what we learned today. What do you think that could be? The same way you kill Al. So they think that there's some mark on them that can be erased, basically. That's what I think, yeah. All right. We'll see if that pans out prediction-wise. <laughs> and we'll see what lurks underground next time. Do say subscribe to Drew's views here. And uh, look out for next Anna Monday when we get into that one, which is episode 14 of the series. But until then, we're going to be up out of here. Peace. Get out now!